Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, okay? I just saw an announcement from Alphapex on their X page. They announced the DG2 Mini, a mini size mighty power 2.4 giga hash, which gets about an efficiency of 0.22 joules per mega hash. Air cooled little like home miner, script miner. Okay, so for mining Dogecoin and uh, merge mining Dogecoin, Litecoin, all that kind of stuff, bells, all a bunch of other merge mineable coins. So looks like we got some pictures of the unit itself. I'll look at Mr. Payne right there from Alpha Pex, but the unit itself kind of looks like a mini Doge 3 plus. Looks very familiar. Actually, actually looks like a Vulk miner, which I've reviewed. So I do want to do some comparisons uh, between this new announcement of the DG2 mini and then this Vulk miner and even uh, the gold shell. I kind of want to do some just some comparisons here because it looks very similar very similar to them but anyways we're gonna do all that also talk about the efficiency that this can you know this can do the dg2 mini and a bunch of other things right after a word from today's video sponsor cryptominerbros.com since 2018 crypto miner bros has been the go-to source for all the top crypto miners trusted by miners worldwide the prices you see on their website includes shipping and ddp to your door so there are no surprises at checkout they ship to over 100 countries and even offer lower invoicing to help you save on customs fees pay with direct bank transfer or crypto payments such as bitcoin usdt or caspa ready to save even more use code red panda at checkout for 70 dollars off each asic ordered join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust crypto miner bros for their successful hardware fulfillment transparent pricing and world-class service visit cryptominerbros.com today link down below okay so they announced this at looks like the blockchain life uh, convention I think in Dubai and looks like they yeah looks like they announced the DG2 mini today but before that looks like they also announced their they're showcasing the DG2 and the DG2 plus which I've reviewed on the channel already really great miners really efficient and extremely extremely reliable but looks like they have their Alphapex product lineup okay this is good to see so you know, back in 2024, they did the DG1. So I actually have two of the DG1s myself. And then looks like with the DG1 Plus, I actually have like eight or nine of these myself. And then I have a DG Home 1. I have one of these. And I can attest to the reliability of these miners. I've had zero issues with them. And then they released the DG Hydro 1. I don't have any Hydro. And then the DG2, DG2 Plus. And now they have announced the DG2 Mini. So that's pretty cool. So how does this stack up against, you know, all the other script miners that are out there right now? This is something I wanted to compare. So very similar to a Valk miner, I have to say, judging by the pictures, you guys can let me know or even a mini Doge 3. So looking at looking at the pictures here of uh, let's see if we're getting a closer up picture. It looks like uh, this one would be looks like this would be the best picture. So just judging by how it looks, it, very, it looks like a like a mini Doge 3 plus case, but I think there are some differences. Okay. I think there are some differences. So looking at, looking at this, right? I think the control board, it looks like the control board is in the same position. Okay. looks like on the side there, but there's also Wi-Fi on this. I know that the Valk miner, uh, mini D1 Prey, uh, D1 mini Prey did not have Wi-Fi. So that's a plus for the, uh, that's a plus for the Alpha Pex miner, but then Looking at here, looks like the SD card is in a different position. Uh, looks like the Valk miner is by the Ethernet, and then the Alpha Pex one is past the indicator lights. So it is different. Okay, it definitely is different than the uh, than the uh, Valk miner. But what about the Mini Doge Three? Is there a difference between them? Well, let's see. The Ethernet is here. SD card, indicator lights, Wi-Fi is at the bottom. Okay, of the Mini Doge Three. So. Uh, mini doge 3 plus so looking at the dg2 mini it definitely looks like there's different placement for all of that so between the mini doge 3 plus the Valk Miner d1 mini prey and the dg2 mini they all look different in terms of the uh, i guess control board area but the fans and whatnot it looks generally the same you guys can let me know and also the power actually looking at the power placement right in the middle there okay you see the power cabling going into the mini uh, dg2 uh, DG2 Mini. I think the 
Valkminer and the Mini Doge 3, these units look smaller than the DG2 Mini. You guys can let me know. That might look that might look completely different, actually. Yeah, power placement is not in the middle like these ones, but the power placement is in the middle of this DG2 Mini. So, hmm. Yeah, it's I'm gonna say different for sure. Different manufacturing, not the same at well, I guess the efficiency claim here, uh, what they can get. So the Volkminer D1 Mini Prey can do 0.22 as well. Okay, so just talking about efficiency of these miners, uh, the DG2 Mini, they're claiming a 0.22 as well. So 2.4 giga hash at 530 watts. The Volkminer D1 Mini Prey does 2.2 giga hash at 500 watts, but pretty much the same efficiency. Okay, and I did test the D1 Mini Prey at different ambient temperatures and it did get worse efficiency as, you know, time went on, you know, as it got hotter. So who knows if the DG2 Mini will do the same thing. I will test that out. But it's nice that it has Wi-Fi versus the uh, DG the, versus the Volkmeyer D1 Mini Prey that didn't have Wi-Fi. So I like I like that aspect for anyone that's, you know, going to be buying these for home, which majority of people buy these for home as a, like a mini heater. You know, I put one in my kitchen at one point and it was it was perfect. It's like a little little dish warmer, you know, but yeah, I think uh, this one is probably going to be really good. I like the web GUI. You can see the web GUI of the mini uh, Digi2 mini here from Alpha Pex. Uh, real time hash rate 2.6 average 2.4. Yeah, running for two hours there. Yeah, judging by the picture. Yeah, very standard Alpha Pex web GUI. So that's really cool. I think this is this is probably going to be a really good, really good unit for most people. We all know Alpha Pex's reliability is really good. Now the price. We obviously don't know the price. I didn't see any announcement for the price of the DG2 Mini. I hope that they can be competitive. Okay, if they can beat the Volk Miner and like Flu Miner L1 Pro in terms of dollar per hash. That would be that would be the best. So the like Volk Miner D1 Mini Prey right now is going for over a thousand dollars on Crypto Miner Bros. ASL Miner is selling it for nine ninety right now. Okay, and then we got the Mini Doge Three Plus from Gold Shell. Uh, they're selling their unit for four seventy four, but eight hundred and ten mega hash, five hundred watts. Right, that's a sixty two watt per hash. So not efficient, right? It, you're getting three times worse efficiency on the on the gold shells. Of course, everyone knows the gold shells. They're a lot more inefficient. But yeah, just going down my list here, 0 0.6 uh, DG Mini uh, Doge 3 Plus. Yeah, 0 0.61. Okay, in, in efficiency there. But the dollar per hash is a 0 0.59, right? Uh, dollar per hash, which is really bad. So if you look at the Volkminer D1 Mini Prey, you know, even at $1,000, it's a 0.45. Uh, dollar per hash so much cheaper much better you get more for your dollar if you go with the Volk miner and so I hope the alpha pex unit is going to be I would love for this thing to be like you know 650 but it probably will not it definitely will not be 650 bucks I'd be surprised if it was but I you know I think knowing alpha pex they're probably gonna they're probably gonna sell for I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a thousand dollars. That's my guess, and that they're gonna come in at like 0.42 watt per hash versus uh, dollar per hash versus the 0.45 against the Volk miner. So you you guys can let me know. I, I I truly hope that they can truly knock it down like a lot more to be you know in the 0.33 dollar per hash range. That would be nice, you know, considering the same efficiency as the Volk miner. They're probably going to be not too far off from the Volk Miner pricing. So, but it would be great. You know, Alphapex, if you're watching this, please, you know, please bring down the price for, you know, people that want to mine, you know, script at home. You know, it'd be nice. You know, it'd be, if this was 650, 600, 600 bucks, dude, I'd, I'd buy all these all over my house. But, you know, I, I'm expecting it to be a thousand. You guys let me know. You guys let me know. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. But hopefully, I know a lot of people are going to say, Repenna, how profitable this th is this thing? Well, again, it's a home style miner. You know, the efficiency stacks up against the big boys, right? The big boys, L9, um, you know, L11 even. You know, it's only three or four points worse than the L11 in terms of efficiency. So, yeah, it stacks up really well, I think. And I think that, you know, in terms of, if you believe that Doge and, you know, there's a Doge ETF coming, um, all that kind of stuff, apparently. And, you know, the market's been on the up and up here. 
a lot of great things on the horizon here. Uh, rate cuts and and M2 money supply, money printer, go burr. You know, it's going to happen again. Quantitative easing is coming up. If all this points to the sign that crypto is going to go up, then it could be a good buy. I think uh, these units could, this unit, DG2 mini, could be a really good buy for those that are going to be mining at home. And again, I'm going to say this. The most people I see who buy this thing is going to be people that have free power. Okay, people that have solar or, you know, just people love script miners, right? And so that's that's kind of what I, I see a lot of people who buy this. So if you guys are interested, I'll have links down below uh, to this unit. I don't think it's posted anywhere yet, but I'll have uh, different resellers that will probably post this unit pretty soon. Hopefully it's going to be a good price, but uh, you guys let me know uh, what you guys think, okay, of the DG2 Mini. Okay, just wanted to announce this. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.